Okay, I'm gonna try to do this in as real time as possible. Obviously, I'll make a few edits to the video just so that it's not crazy long, but this is the first unboxing of this circuit breaker finder. This is the finder itself, and then this is what you plug in to, to find it. So, here we go. Put this in here. I'm going to comes with a battery. There we go, that's red. It's ready to look for it. You can see when you get it close to So let's run outside to the circuit box and see if we can figure out which circuit this plug is currently plugged into. Okay, so that worked pretty well. Uh, one thing that I will note is that dialing in the sensitivity was a little bit difficult uh, at first. You turn it all the way to high to begin with, just so that you know you got a signal in there, and then you gradually dial it back until it isolates just the breaker you're looking for. And if your wiring is pretty close together, there's a potential for the signal to bleed over into the next wire. So if you got uh, breakers that are very close together, uh, like in, in a pair, uh, then you might get a little bleed over. But uh, if you mess with the sensitivity, just get it dialed in, then as you can see in the video, it will isolate the specific circuit that you're looking for. The transmitter unit has a ground fault circuit interrupter testing feature, so you press this yellow button and if you've got a GFCI socket, it will trip that for you to test to make sure that it's working. 